guys, welcome back to a new weekly vlog, or welcome to my channel if you're new here. My name is Hayley and I make videos twice or three times a week at the moment. Beauty, fashion, lifestyle and lots of Christmas content and all that kind of thing at the moment. So make sure you're subscribed down below if you're not already, or make sure you turn on the notification bell if you haven't got that on. <laughs> apologize for my sweaty mess of a face and yeah just done a Megan Grove workout um the booty one and that was a Monday morning 10 a.m. live workout so just finished that it's just gone 11 o'clock and yeah I feel really good after doing that but I thought I'd just come on and have a chat with you for two reasons so the first one is a delivery. So I've got a delivery to show you. I'm just quickly going to say, just in case, um, this is actually a present for my friend's birthday. So Emma, if you're watching this, which I don't think she will be, will be watching this, um, not that she doesn't watch my videos, but um, yeah, I don't think she'll be watching it today anyway. So I think I'd be okay. But if you're watching this, then skip forward a little bit. I'll put a time on the screen that you can, um, you can skip to. So I also got some for myself as well, obviously. Um, and it is from the Skinny Food Co. brand. If you didn't already know, they do like loads of different stuff. Um, it's like healthy alternatives to like syrups and coffee and they do other stuff as well, like loads of sauces, they do sauces. Um, I'll link their website down below if you're interested um, because they got some really great stuff. Um, like it's quite a big box for what I've got, but I think it's because of the, like the the tallness of what I bought. Okay. Oh, look at all the stuff it comes in. It comes with so much like this in it. So, what I got for myself, first of all. Oh, wait, is that? Okay. So, for myself, I bought myself a syrup because I noticed um, that they do syrups. And I didn't realise that. that I, I think I have seen they've done syrup, syrups before. But it was a really reasonable price. It was £6.50 for a big litre bottle, which is like a bargain because I always find that all of like, the other stuff, like on Amazon to buy sugar free syrups, um, they're at least £7, like going to £10, sometimes even £12. So £6.50 for a massive bottle like this. So th I, bought, um, I bought an eggnog flavoured syrup because. I wasn't sure, I just, well I wanted a Christmassy one but they ran out of gingerbread and I already got a gingerbread one that I bought from Amazon so I thought eggnog, would be, eggnog was different and I thought give it a go anyway um, but I feel like I'm definitely going to buy my syrups from them Oh, that smells weird oh, I don't like the smell of that Maybe it'll taste different, but that smells like, that smells like something gone off in my grandma's cupboard, and that's, that's not a good smell. Okay, but hopefully, I'll let you know when I have my coffee later. I think I'm going to have to put it in my coffee today and let you know how it is. Um, and then, for my friend, I bought her two little things. I'm going to buy some other bits to go with her present, but um, I know she likes these. So I bought um, a caramel creamer. I think you put this in your coffee instead of, um, instead of having like sweeteners in it. Um... Yeah, so I thought, I know, I've known she's tried lots of the other syrups before, like, not all of them, but, like, she's tried a couple before, and I've seen that she likes them, so I thought I'd get this one for her to try, and I know she likes caramel in the coffee, so, yeah. And then the other thing I got, there's literally one more thing, um, I think the reason why I got such a big box is because that syrup is so tall, um, I can get it out. Oh, yeah, is, I actually forgot what I ordered, like, I ordered this, like, two weeks ago, I think, nearly, so, um, this is a honeycomb flavoured coffee with sweetener. So a coffee and a little caramel syrup to go with it. I thought they'd go well together quite nicely, honeycomb and caramel. Um, and then I'm gonna get some other bits and bobs once I can get out of the house. Um, yeah, currently, you probably know this from my other weekly vlog because I spoke about it at the end of, the, end of that vlog. Um, I have two more days of isolation after today and then I can go outside and I can go to B&M and I can go to Home Bargains and I can go buy some Christmas presents. I'm so excited. Okay, so that was my little delivery from Skinny Food. And the other reason why I wanted to talk to you before I have a shower is because I've got some products. Um, they're not from TK Maxx, just a TK Maxx bag. I bought these hair products like um, a few months ago and I meant to do a video like testing it. 
and they just one of those things that I just never got around to doing, like round work and everything. Um, I just never got around to filming it. So I thought, well, I'll wait. And now I'm doing weekly vlogs. I thought it's just the perfect kind of I can just talk about it in a These vlog. Are products for girls with curly hair. Um, that's what it's aimed at anyway. I think they do other ones as well. I think they do other other products that might not just be for curly hair. Um, but the reason I saw these first was um, in a YouTube video, my friend Donatella, um, she did a video testing these and that's where I got the inspiration from. And she's got like really curly, coily hair. And I thought, oh, I might give those a go. Cause obviously, I mean, my hair's a bit different to hers, but like I've got cur really curly hair as well. So um, I thought I'll give them a go. Um, and I just haven't tried them yet. They've just been sat in my little cupboard and I thought I really need to try them. So I bought the Wave Hello um, Curl Defining Shampoo. And then I also bought the Wave Hello Curl Defining Conditioner. So I'm about to go test those out in my shower when I have a shower um, and wash my hair. And then I also bought two other things. And I bought the Wave Hello Curl Defining Taming Cream. Um, I'm not really sure how you're supposed to use this. Coat damp curls, evenly distributing onto lengths and ends, just style as normal. Um, so I normally plait my hair after I wash it, but I never know whether I should try and like, I don't think I've got a diffuser, but if I like, had a diffuser then like and dry my hair with this, I don't know if that would work, but um, I don't know. And then the other one I've got is a Hello Curls Define and Reshape Curl Primer. Um, so this one says, um, so they have shea butter and avocado oil, defines and add holes to fresh wash curls. When used between washes, rebellious second day curls are reshaped and redefined. Spray liberally onto fresh washed damp hair and restyle as required. In between washes for an instant curl refresh, spritz onto dry hair and scrunch to re, 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 re in, reinvigorate curls um can't even start to say that word um so yeah i'm not sure when i'm going to use these two because i don't know I, sometimes i find that if i put too much product in my hair it just makes it feel sticky so sorry guys my um my phone storage like cut out on me so it like completely stopped my clip then um so yeah i was just saying i I don't like it when like products are sticky like I don't like it to make my hair feel sticky because then I feel like I have to wash it um, and I hate that I used to do that when I used to go on nights out like I used to put like curl cream in my hair and then the next day it would just feel so sticky and gross that I'd have to wash it even if it wasn't like dirty yet um, but anyway yes yeah, so I'm going to give these a go I'm going to use the shampoos and conditioner in my shower in a minute and then I'm probably going to give these a go I don't know whether I'm going to wait I may just plait my hair like usual using my serums that I use like my John Frieda and my argan oil um and my I, I use like a coconut um coconut spray by um let me just quickly show you so i use a rev the revlon um unique one coconut hair treatment this stuff's really great um my friend who's a hairdresser recommends this to me it's like really good for your hair it's like an all-in-one um treatment it's got like loads of great benefits like frizz dry damaged hair heat protection silkness smoothness hair colour protection with UV and UV, UVB filters, easier brushing and ironing, incredible detangling, long lasting hairstyle, split end prevention and it adds body, which I don't really need any body in my hair, but I love it. Um, and then I use my John Frieda serum and I've been using um, the, um, what's it called? Rejuvenating and Rejuvenating Argan Oil of Morocco, Extra, the OGX, OGX Argan Oil this one is. Um, I used to use this all the time and I went through a stage where I didn't use it and then I think it was cheaper on Amazon so I bought it and I'm loving it again. And then the other product I use is a Cranton's product, Frizz No More Sleek and Shine Miracle Serum. This is nearly empty. Um, but I buy this from Home Bargains for like £1 or £2 and I love it. Um, so yeah, those are the products I use. I don't use too much, but I do like to use serums on my hair to control the frizz. Um, so yeah, I'm going to go for a shower. Also, another thing while I'm just thinking in my head, uh, I've been thinking about getting a new phone recently because I really, um, I do struggle. Um, my phone's great and I've had it for like nearly three years. I've got a 7 Plus and I film on it, which is great. I find the quality is really good, but I know the quality could be better. Um, let me know what you think of my phone quality. I know some people tell me that they that they think they wouldn't know that I'm not filming on like a Canon camera. Um, 
I think it's quite good. I'm quite happy with it. But I really do struggle with the storage on it. The storage isn't great. It's got 32 gig and it is not really enough to film and save videos. I have to delete things constantly. Like I just said, I had to go and delete like a load of apps because my storage was full. Um, so yeah, it's a real struggle and it's really annoying when, you've, when you're trying to film and you don't know when your phone's going to cut out the storage. Um, so I've been thinking about getting a new one because at the moment I've paid off my contract so I'm just paying a SIM only contract. So I'm paying like £10 a month which is a bargain. That's why I'm like, like that's what's putting me off is that I'm paying so cheap at the moment. But I know you can get the new iPhone 11 for like £35, £40. Like if you get a good deal, you can get a really good deal. I don't know whether it's worth waiting until Black Friday and seeing if I'll get any good deals. Um, but yeah, I'm tempted to get a new phone because I know the new phone comes with 64 gig and that would be amazing. I think that would help me out so much. Um, as much as I'd love a camera, I don't think I'm quite there for getting a camera yet. And if I'm honest, I've got used to quite used to filming on my phone and editing on my iPad and I quite like it. I don't know why, um, but... Um, but yeah, I'm gonna go have a shower and I will catch up with you at some point later on the vlog. Hey guys, it's Tuesday. Um, today is my sister's 21st birthday. Um, so we got ready. It is now 12, 10 past 12. And um, we've had some breakfast, we've had some brunch and we had some Prosecco with it, which is lovely. Um, nice full English. Um, I just, we dressed up today to take some nice photos. We figured as we can't go out, we'll still dress up and make an occasion of it. So just got like a black top on, long sleeve, white, black, white, um, with this skirt on. Um, I may do a cutaway later on to show you what I'm wearing. Skirt's from ASOS. I had it in my ASOS haul um, a while back. Um, I'll link that video up here. And I also, um, it's from Daisy Street. And I put a bit of those products that I used yesterday, the curl cream I put in my hair. And I also, just a minute ago, sprayed a bit of the curl primer in it. Which actually, that curl primer's made it go a little bit more crispy, which isn't a bad thing. Um, I didn't put a lot of it in there. I just put a little bit on the bits here um so yeah that's what my hair is looking like and i put the magnetic eyelashes on again the ones that i spoke about in last week's weekly vlog um and i like the fact that like i didn't really notice too much at first but the they are there are like different types of like eyelashes so i quite like these ones they're quite natural um but still but still there like still chromatic a little bit but they're like not they're not too in your face like you probably wouldn't know i've got fake eyelashes on if, I, if you didn't if I didn't come close and show you. I also just had a little delivery from my Gymshark cane that I ordered in the sale. Um, only a little one because um, it, um, I only ordered one pair of leggings, but I thought I would um, show I you. I ordered um, a black pair of leggings in, I think, that which leggings are they? They're the Vital Seamless Leggings in Black Marl, um, and I ordered a size medium. I, I always get a medium in my gym leggings, and I seem to be fine in them. But I do wonder if I could size down sometimes. So I see a lot of people like online who I think aren't bigger than me, but I don't want to say bigger than me because that comes across as really like, I don't want to, you know, it just sounds horrible to say they're bigger than me. But then I, sometimes I see people wearing things like um, Karis from Busy Bees. She's obviously, she's pregnant and she wears a medium and she's only just sizing up to a large. Um, now when she's getting bigger in her pregnancy. And I'm thinking, well, if she's pregnant and she's wearing a medium, could I wear a small? Like, cause I'm obviously not pregnant. Like, um, but yeah, these are the leggings. Um, just black, seamless leggings. I'm really happy I've got these. So I just wanted a pair of seamless black leggings for ages. Um, these ones were 32 pounds. So even though they were in the sale, they were, I think they were 20% off. Um, they weren't the best of the sale, like not the best of the sale, but they were, weren't like, they weren't the cheapest thing in the sale, but I'm still happy with them. Well, as long as they fit, I'm happy with them. Um, looking at them they look nice the, the waistband does look quite wide but um i guess we'll see i'll put like a little cutaway clip in of me trying them on because i'm obviously not going to try them on straight away because i'm changed in my clothes um I, do, I also feel like they don't look very long but i know these kind of leggings they scratch they have a lot of stretch to them um i've also got a boohoo parcel coming today it's supposed to be to coming later on so when that comes i will show you um and then by that point in the evening, I might try that that stuff on as well, because then I might be like, I might be changing into something a bit more comfier. So yeah, I will talk to you guys later.
Good morning guys, happy Wednesday. I hope everyone's doing okay on this Wednesday morning. Not a Wednesday morning for you, but a Wednesday morning for me. Um, sorry, I'm in a weird mood. I might had like a really like, I've had a really clear old morning and I'm really happy about it. Like, I just haven't rushed up. I don't know, I'm not feeling a hundred percent like today. I don't know, I think also I drank alcohol yesterday, didn't I? So I think like, I just feel, I felt a bit rough yesterday. Yesterday, I, even before I drank any alcohol, my stomach just wasn't good. Um, wasn't good, and I think the fact that I drank alcohol and ate loads of different foods, it just didn't, it didn't help at all. Um, so I feel a lot better today than I did yesterday, but obviously I think I'm probably just a bit like, I had quite a few glasses of Prosecco, had a couple of cocktails and a gin, so I think my head's a little bit fuzzy from that, but um, I've had a chilled morning, I've just not rushed up, I've watched some YouTube videos and just take, take, took it easy, um, but I thought I'd come and say good morning. Today is my last day in isolation, I, um, I've got a few parcels that are coming, so I'm excited about that, um, and yeah. I feel like I guess I have other things I could talk about, but I guess I'm so out of breath, like, I'm gonna have to come back later and talk to you because I, nah, it's not the one. I don't know what's wrong with me today. Good afternoon, um, so I've had, um, I did my workout and then I had a shower, um, sorted my hair out, well, I had some food as well before and then sorted my hair out and now here we are. I was gonna put, put on some makeup, but I just decided I can't be bothered. I'm in a bit of a funny mood today because I haven't been feeling amazing um, and when I was in the shower I literally for my life could not brush through, brush through my hair because I put like conditioner in my hair and brush it and I was putting a hair mask in my hair today and brushing it and my hair was just not having any of it and I was getting like you know when you're just like tired and like I just my hair was annoying me so much and I was getting like stressed so I was like <laughs> God, it's my last day of isolation today, so I think, I think I'm think i just like eager to get out tomorrow. But I'm fine, but I just thought I can't be bothered to put on some makeup, I'm not in the mood for it. But I want to show you a parcel in a minute, but before I do, I just want to quickly talk to you about something. So my friend Lucy, she's been making wax melts for, um, for a while now, like for friends and family. And I've never actually had any of them before, but I've heard so many good things about them. And she's decided recently to make a little, little Instagram page out of it and see, not, not so much to make a business out of it, but I think like uh, she's been selling them for like a couple of pounds. So she, she thought, well, I may as well make an Instagram page out of it and see if anyone is interested in it. In it. Which I think is an amazing idea. And I think it's really important. Like, obviously, you know, we're all very much, um, about supporting small businesses at the moment so i thought i would have a little chat to you guys about them and i'll pop her instagram here you should definitely go give her f instagram a follow um i've got some of the wax melts here these ones are specific christmas ones um they smell amazing let me just show you them um so these are the ones i got i got all of these for two pounds um so oh they're so cute i've not properly looked at them okay yet. so the first ones i've got are these um pink ones and these are in the scent Yuletide Spice and they're so cute look at the little candy cane and the little um snowman oh so cute I'd still want to melt them but they're so cute and they smell amazing we've got two little red ones in um these are the scent these ones are Christmas pudding hmm lovely we have yellow ones these ones are called Nutcracker I like them all. I don't know which one I'm going to melt. The green ones are Christmas tree. Um, lovely. And then the blue ones are in the scent White Christmas. I like them all. They're all so nice. And all of those for £2 is just an absolute bargain. So I'm going to decide in a, in a bit which um, which wax melt I'm going to pop up on my thingy. I need to empty out my old one and then put that on. But yeah, you should definitely go give her page a follow if you're interested in that. Because yeah, we should totally, I really want to support her and give her a few right, more And followers. the next thing is I have a Boohoo parcel. So it looks absolutely huge um, because of the stuff that's in it that makes it obviously more bulkier clothes um but i'm gonna open it with you and see what's in it and try it on okay, so cool. i've only ordered four things that's why i'm including it here because it's not really enough to do right. a haul so i ordered myself a pair of black joggers so these are just a normal pair of black joggers they, they had a sale on them well, 
I'm just gonna put on the screen like how much everything was and like what size I got and everything just because it's easier than me trying to remember the prices. Um, I can't remember if I got these in a medium or, not a medium, a 10 or a 12. I got these in a 12. Just because in joggers I like them to be comfy. I find that I've not actually tried any joggers in a 10 before, but I always just go for a 12. Um, just because they're baggy. Like these grey ones from Pretty Little Thing like, that I wear all the time. They're just comfy because they're, they're just comfy and give me more room. Um, so yeah, these are the joggers. They're just a black pair of simple joggers with the this bit here. I will show you in a cutaway clip how they look. But yeah, they're just simple black joggers. Um, and I just thought I'd get a pair of black ones because I actually don't have a pair of black ones. I have grey, I have black, and I, well, I have grey, I have white, and I have yellow, and now I have black. So like, I feel like black was just like a staple in my lockdown to wardrobe. And then to add to that, um, I picked up two bodysuits just for like lounging in. I thought, because I always see people wearing joggers with like these kind of like, um, is it a crew neck? Um, these like sleeveless bodysuits, that's what it, that's what this is called anyway. So I, I think I actually ordered these in a size 10. So I'm hoping they fit. Yeah, I ordered them both in a size 10. I hope they fit because sometimes I can find because I think if I'm quite tall, I must have like quite a long torso maybe. Um, I do find bodysuits a bit hard to fit on me. Um, but I can't remember why I got a 10 in these, not instead of a 12. Um, I must have thought for some reason on the website that a 10 would have been okay. I do that sometimes. Like, sometimes I like look at the the um, the sizings, like, um, like what the model's wearing and everything, and kind of work it out on their size. Um, so I ordered a white one. It's just a white... What do you see? Looks like a little baby grow lol. Um, just to wear like around the house with joggers and then obviously like once we actually have a life again I could obviously just pair these with like jeans or anything like that, a skirt. They're just simple, they're basics. So I hope they fit. They look like they're going to be quite stretchy. They don't look too small. Um, yeah, I think uh, hopefully they'll be okay, but I'll show you obviously on the cutaway clips and I'll let you know if they don't fit. And they have this quite nice detailing at the back where there's button ups. Um, I don't know how easy that would be, uh, be to do up on your own, but um, that is quite a nice little detail. That's um, These are so cheap as well. They think, I think these were both £5 each in the sale. So I got the, the white one and then I also picked up a black one. So again, the black one, exactly the same as the white, just a black body um, with the little buttons on the back and just um, a button up bodysuit, your typical bodysuit. And then the last thing I bought, which I is the most exciting thing that I bought, um, the most expensive not I say the most expensive it wasn't expensive but the most expensive thing that I bought because the joggers were like a £10 I think the bodysuits were both like £10 no £5 each and then this is a onesie and it's not just any other onesie it is a snuggle bear onesie and I just saw this and it was one of those things where I was like I can't not buy that how can you not have that in your wardrobe especially in lockdown two it's getting colder we all want to be cosy and I thought a bare onesie is just what I need in my life. So I've got this in the medium. So this is the onesie. Um, it's got a little bare hood on it. And yeah, it's a onesie and it's a fluffy onesie. I'm actually obsessed with like fluffy things at the moment. As you can tell that I'm wearing like a fluffy jumper. I always wear fluffy things at the moment. It just keeps me so cosy. Um, this has got like a zip down the front. Obviously it's a bit hard to show you right now of how I'm sat but um the legs are like nice and scratchy um like that and yeah it looks so cozy I'm really hoping it fits because if this fits then I'm wearing this for the rest of the day like I'm gonna pop it on and not take it off um so yeah I'm really happy with that well hopefully I say it saying that I'm hoping that I'm really happy with them as long as they fit I'm happy with them I'll let you know like if it doesn't fit um but yeah, I think this one was £29. Um, I think it's about 20 or just under 29 because it was originally 30 
32 I think but it was it was like a the discount the sale items were discounted obviously and then you got an extra 10% off as well I don't know if they're still doing that but um if they are you should definitely go check it out and see what deals they got on because this was about 28 pounds or 29 pounds which I think is a bit more money it's not more money but for something like this if this fits then it's something that I'm gonna wear default like I'm gonna wear it all the time so it's totally work worth nearly 30 pounds so yeah that's everything I got from Boohoo I did order some jumpers from in the style um, last night so I think they're supposed to come today but I don't know if I've had any emails about that so I don't know because I basically I, ha I used to have next day delivery and then when I went to order them I realized I think it had been a year since my next day delivery so it ran out so I repurchased Oh, I repurchased next day delivery so they should come today because I ordered them at like nine o'clock like I think about nine o'clock yeah um not even actually it was before nine o'clock it must have been like eight o'clock and I think you're supposed to get next day delivery as long as you order before like 10 p.m normally aren't you so um hopefully I'll be able to show you the jumpers um hopefully i'll be able to show you the jumpers later but yeah i'm gonna go try those things on and i'll chat to you hey later guys, on. i've come into the hot tub um excuse my hair it's just like pulled back in my little band yeah um my family were in here before but they've all gone to the shower and then the last one because i got in last so um i'll get out last and then i'll go in the shower um the bubbles were on but they're off now but um yeah just nice and chilled evening it's really nice to come out here and have like the bubbles um may as well make the most of it while um well, we have the hot tub because we've got it until Friday, I think. Um, but yeah, we're going to ha also have, we're going to have like a meze like night tonight. We're going to have like cheese and bread um, and some meats, I think, as well. So that'll be super nice. Um, so yeah, um, I will catch up with you soon. Morning guys, it is Thursday and it, today is the first day that I can go out the house, um, which I'm excited about. Basically though, I need to have a bit of a tidy and sort out first because um, if you see my wardrobe before, basically I have to empty my whole wardrobe today because on Monday we've got a decorator coming to paint the whole house. Um, basically, she was supposed to come when lockdown started but obviously it, got, it couldn't happen then. But she is now allowed to come in the house because um it's for work purposes and basically what we're doing is she's painting upstairs and downstairs and anytime when she's upstairs we're like we're going to be social distancing from her the whole time so when she's upstairs we will we're, when she's upstairs we'll be all downstairs and like vice versa when where she's downstairs we'll have to be upstairs so we won't be on the same floor at her at, at any point um sorry i'm a bit tired um so yeah we're gonna make sure we'll be we'll be socially distanced from her at all times and like she'll have her own bathroom as well um whatever floor she's on she'll have her own bathroom so we won't be sharing bathrooms or anything so yeah um she's coming on monday today's thursday so i basically have to clear out not let's say clear out my whole room but like Obviously, I have to take everything off the wall. Um, so all of my clothes today, that's what we're starting on. All of my clothes, clothes are going to go out to the caravan um, because there's nowhere else in the house that all of my clothes can go because I have so many clothes. Um, so they're all going to go to the caravan and I am going to be planning to um, stay in the caravan. I hope, I don't know, I don't want to go tonight really, but um, from Monday onwards until she's done upstairs i'm gonna go in the caravan so um yeah i'm gonna be vlogging from the caravan um so that's gonna be interesting i thought i'd rather be doing it from the caravan though than not um having like a space to film or have like my own space because i want to still want to like film things and stuff i don't want to be behind on that so i thought it's a good, good idea i can have a little christmas background in the caravan um so yeah so that's the job for this morning and then um after done that for a couple of hours, um, I'm probably gonna. I was gonna do a workout, but I'm just not sure. Not sure if I'm feeling that or not yet. I'll see how I feel. Um, and then either do a workout and get ready, and then go to B and M, or just get ready and go to B and M. Either way. Um, but yeah. Um, I will catch you. up with you at some point in the day. I might try and time lapse me emptying my wardrobe, but I don't know if my mum's gonna be helping me, so she might not want to be in that. But um, yeah. I will catch up with you later. Hey guys, it's now a few hours 
later. Um, we've done a loads of sorting out. I'm going to quickly show you um, from like as I walk in my room and show you what it's looking like now because it's looking a lot more plain but a lot more sorted. Obviously, because we need to literally scrape it all back so it can be painted. But let me show all you my now. Photos off here. I had like all my friends' photos like on here, and I took that off last night and did that. And then um, what we've basically done is. All of my clothes are gone, they're all out in the caravan. Um, and what we've done, anything that I need but I haven't really got space to put anywhere else, we've just put in my wardrobe in boxes. And then when she comes to paint, all of this basically will go on my bed. Um, and then she'll be able to paint behind it. So that's that. And then um, we've basically taken everything off the walls, uh, all of my little lights are gone. and. My chest of drawers for now is just like that because it's all going to stay like that and then it will just be moved away so she can paint. Um, all of my prints are off and um, what we're basically going to do here is she's just going to fill in all the holes because like we've got so many holes here and so many like little screws and there's like this one here, like, that's no use, like it's not in a place and then afterwards once she's painted it I can pop three um, well, I don't even need to put holes actually because my prints that I had before just stick on so I won't even have to make any holes. Um, so that'll be far. And then I've got my TV there that I've never, I don't, not I've never used, but I don't use. I've not used for years. So that's there for now, but really I don't need it. So I don't know if we're going to try and see if I can get rid of it. But um, yeah, and then, yeah, all of my things that are on my wall before that you would have seen in my video backgrounds, that's all gone and like all these holes are going to be filled. I've got to take the blue tack off um, and yeah there's a few more bits that are around like this is still here because I need my lampshade obviously my bed's still here because I'm going to sleep in my bed for the next few days um, and my clothes that are like I don't know about anyone else does anyone else have like a box of clothes that's like like you the stuff you're using like it's not dirty but it's not like it's not doesn't need doesn't need washing but it's not dirty so that's my pile of like things I'm using clothes but yeah um it's looking a lot better. Tomorrow I have to do some cleaning. Like um, we wiped the shelves today, but I'm gonna have to like clean behind like all the skirting boards and everything. I'm gonna have to do that tomorrow. Like all these skirting boards need cleaning. Wipe my window windowsill. Um, and basically just clean anything like that. All the all the skirting boards basically. Um, pull out the bed. Do the skirting boards behind there. Um, but yeah, it's looking so much better. I think the next job I need to do. I need to take off those photos because I thought I could leave them because they were on the door but it turns out she actually is going to be sanding down the doors um, so I need to take those off and I also have to take the blue tag off here but yeah um, it's looking so much better it took us what time is it now um, it's 10 past 12 so it took us like two hours which isn't too bad um, so pretty happy with that happy my mum helped me like I said like I, I did do a little bit of a time lapse but obviously once we take all the clothes out and mum was in here helping me like declutter everything um, so I didn't really want to film it but also I I've got I filled a massive bag of charity clothes let me just show you yeah it's like charity um, that's all gonna go to the charity shop at some point once it opens there's and so many all... bags out in our garage of like soft things and like bits and bobs like all the hangy things and all the things that are on my walls stuff like that um so once it's all painted and everything i'm gonna have a big job to do like i'm gonna try and vlog that as much as possible as well but i'm gonna have to obviously there's gonna be so much sorting out to do um it's gonna be a task so yeah um but and oh another thing um i went out to my car to get a big bag because i knew i had like a big like this big primer big bag, bag here so that would be handy um, I went to my car and then obviously because I've been in isolation and my plan is to go to B&M later um, and my car's dead so that's really good but um, my mum said that we've got some jump leads so I think we're going to jump start my car later so fingers crossed I can still get out for a drive later on if we jump start my car but that's quite common that happened the first lockdown when I didn't go anywhere for like two weeks and my car died it's happened like two or three times before because it's such an old car it just loses its battery um, but yeah, I need. I actually need to go get some food in a minute. I'm starving. Like I'm really hungry. So I'm gonna get some lunch before I try and jump start the car and go out. Hey guys, I've made it to B and M. Um, 
basically we jump started my car and then um basically had to like drive it my engine's still on too so i'm scared to turn my engine off um had to like drive it to charge the battery up because otherwise if i just drove here which is like 15 minutes away no more than 15 minutes away to get here um usually um if i just did that then my car would just die as soon as i got out of the shop which obviously wouldn't be good so um i um drove it I, I gave it i've literally drove it for like a good 40 minutes basically um a good long a long drive um around all the back lanes near me and now i'm at bnm and i'm just going to show you how big it is in a minute because it's it's massive um but i've got my mask it's this is the one thing good thing about isolation is that i've not had to wear a mask for two weeks so it feels really weird having to pick a mask up to go into the shop um but i'm so excited it's also it's such a lovely day today it's such a nice autumnal day i'm glad it was like sunny when i was driving around it was actually quite nice to get out um i had no music in my car because when my battery goes the you've got to put a code into my car to get the radio to work again and i forgot the code again i always forget the code i even thought last time i was like right i'm gonna put the code somewhere so i don't forget it and i thought i'd wrote the code in my notes page on my phone but i couldn't find it so i don't know what the code is i'll have to find it later on but um yeah i'm gonna go to b&m i do also need a wee now because it's really annoying but um i'm so excited let me just yeah, show this you this is the b&m um it's quite big it's got a garden center as well so i'm so excited to go so yeah i'm gonna pop on my mask and go into b&m also i don't know if i'm really gonna film in there because obviously it's supposed to be only essential essential shopping so um, i don't really want to take more time by filming um so i don't know if i will but um i'll definitely be doing like a haul of what i get anyway um or showing you i haven't really decided yet but um yeah let's go into b&m and see what's in it <laughs> B&M haul um, on in the vlog um, so hopefully the, this, I haven't even started editing this vlog yet so I don't know how long it's going to be because yeah um, but anyway um, also I apologize if the lights a bit f like if the um, this video bit is a bit weird because I've got my light on and I've also got this light on so that it might be a little bit funny um, but the thing is like it's getting it's nearly it's half past four nearly so it's like starting to get dark and um, I need the light and I also need, like I tried doing it without my light on and it kind of wasn't enough, like, so. We're just gonna go I'm gonna show you and get out of the way. It is from Asda and it is a little white Christmas tree. I went in B&M and I, I um denied whether I was gonna get one, like I said, and I didn't get one. And then when I went in Asda, I saw this for six pounds. So I thought, what a bargain. So I picked that up and it's like, a, it's a three foot tree. So it should be like the perfect size for my room because I didn't want it any bigger than that really. Also, just gonna quickly say, if you're any of my friends watching this, like Chloe, Emma, Kirsty, or any of my family, like my sisters, then click off. I'm gonna put a little time on, on the screen here of when you can skip to. So please skip because I, to be honest, I, I wasn't really thinking, well I was thinking of people, but I just kind of was randomly buying in there thinking, oh that'd be good for presents, that'd be good for presents. I picked a lot of things up, um, but it could be some of your presents, so um, skip. So yeah, I'm gonna quickly show you what I got. So I got a hand soap for my mum for her stocking. So I didn't get a lot for my mum's stocking. But I got a hand soap and the, the Brussels sprout. Did I show you this? Brussels sprout, pass the parcel. Um, and then basically I bought lots of little random things that I'm just gonna sort out and sort out into other people's presents. I bought like people's main presents. So I'm just gonna add little bits and bobs. Um, so I got a gin, make, a gin cocktail mixer set. Um, this is a men's gift set for games. Um, this is a shower and um, deodorant set. And then for my dad, um, he won't be watching this. Um, I bought him a classic Ayles little set, which I thought was quite. Oh, it's opening. It's got six six beers in it, and it was six pounds. I thought that was quite good because I was looking at one online. And it was like twenty quid. So I thought that was, when I saw that, I thought I'll buy a box of tampons for myself because. You need them. Got this little mug for one of my friends. Thought it was really cute. One of my friends, a coconut hair mask. One for me, this is a vitamin C glow and radiance. I used to use this um, quite a lot. 
um, and I ran out ages ago. I haven't obviously haven't repurchased it because I haven't been anywhere to do it. So I'm happy about that. A birthday card for my friend because it's her birthday at the end of the month. Um, strawberry cheesecake pretzel things for one of my friends. Um, I haven't really decided here yet, but yeah. And then I bought for myself some oval cotton wool pads and these are for my Christmas presents to go on them. Some like little like tag things. I our coffee. I bought us a little coffee because we ran out of ground coffee. I bought a rhubarb and ginger ale um, can for one of my friends, but I'm not gonna lie, I'd be tempted to, to drink this myself. I bought a foam burst body wash because these are so good. I love them. And then I also for myself bought a, um, a Enchanted Escape Imperial Leather um, bath soak because I think I'm going to have a bath tonight so that'll be nice and then also for myself I bought the Zaflora and I bought the Midnight Blooms I've not tried this one before but I did have a little sniff in the shop and it smelled really good yeah, I picked up three of these reindeer face masks again I'm going to pop these in presents um, and then I picked up some coffee syrups for friends I haven't really decided yet again but um, I bought one caramel one and one hazelnut to go in little presents and then I picked up this wine for my mum originally, but then I noticed on the back that it says um, with hints of peach and apple, and my mum doesn't really like that. So um, this is this is probably just going to go in one of my friend's presents instead because it was like a pound, I think. Um, and then again, I bought a passion fruit martini for one of my friends because she likes passion fruit martini. And then um, M for James. Um, and then oh, this is for my mum as well. I forgot about that. Um, a little hair treatment. And then this little mini disinfectant, which was going to be for my mum, but I'm not sure if it's going to go in her stocking or not. I may just keep it myself. Um, and then, again, for myself, I bought a conditioner. This is the Alberto Balsam Light Shea and Coconut Conditioner. I really love that one. And then, for myself, I bought a packet of tea lights. You get 25, oh, 25 tea lights for a pound. I've been burning my wax melts, wax melts recently, so I thought they would be fab um, to pop in. And then, oh, and the last thing is a bath fizzer to go in, like, again, one of my friend's little things. Um, so, yeah, that's all I got, really. I didn't see it, really. I spent £60 in B&M, like, or £56 I spent. Like, that didn't seem a lot, the £56, but I guess it all, like, it all adds up. They're all, like, one, two or three pounds, and then it, it does add, add up, doesn't it? But, um... That's good though, because I think I'm not I'm not done with my Christmas shopping yet, but I'm I'm getting now. I need to I kind of what I need to do is like put it all together and kind of see where I'm at. Um, but yeah, that's everything I got. I'm gonna go and I don't really know. I don't know. I'm trying I'm trying to decide whether I should do a workout or not. I'm not really sure. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna do a workout or not. But yeah, I will catch up with you later on in the vlog. Hey guys, I've just been editing up the weekly vlog and it is so long this week so I'm sorry if you didn't like long vlogs but obviously if, you, if you've made it this far in the vlog then it can't be that bad but I thought I'd end it here because I know it's not the end of the week yet but I just thought I don't want the vlog to be any longer than 45 minutes so I thought I'll end it here um, but yeah before I end the vlog I'm just quickly going to say um, I've been selling, selling some clothes on my Vinted account um, because I had so many clothes that I sorted out that I was going to send to the charity shop but instead I thought I'll see if I can sell them before so um, I've managed to sell a few bits already which is amazing. So two things already sold on my vintage so I parceled them up and took them to the shop earlier um, to send off so that's amazing but I'm just going to pop in my vintage um, account here so if you want to go follow me like I would love it so much if you want to follow me um, and if there's anything you want to buy um, they're super cheap but I'm literally selling things for like £1, £2, £3, £5 like the maximum Thing I've got on there at the moment is five pounds. So yeah, I'm gonna end the weekly vlog here. I really hope you enjoyed this one. It was slightly more different than the fact that I actually got out, got out the house at some point. Um, don't forget to give this video a massive thumbs up, subscribe down below, or turn on the post notification bell if you haven't already, so you get a notification every time that I upload a video. And yeah, I will see you next week for next week's weekly vlog. Bye guys.